Hi, it's Sunday the 20th of May uh, and um, it's it's just coming up to about nine o'clock. Uh, I posted earlier today on my Facebook page that um, I was starting a five day fast. Who'd you talking about? I started it earlier on this afternoon. Um, I've had a couple of private <laughs> private messages and I'm imagining that when my mum sees it, she'll be messaging me about it as well. Uh, and a few people concerned about um, about fasting for that amount of time and also not really seeing why I wanted to fast anyway. And, and other t comments have been about, um, you know, if you do a Slim and World diet, you don't have to starve yourself. I never had to starve myself when I did a Slim and World diet and things like that. So, I just wanted to go through some of the reasonings behind why I want to try and do a fast uh, and a five day fast and what I'm doing to uh, prepare for it as well and what benefits that, um, that, that I'm hoping to see from doing it. So it's not just something that I've just thought, oh no, I'll starve myself. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Who's hungry? So... Number one is, um, first of all, I'm not just eating a, an average sort of carb-based diet. So I'm not having carbs very much at all. And I've been in ketosis now for about three months. So my body is now fat adapted. So your body can use two types of fuel. It can use glucose, which is sugars. So things that are in carbohydrates, actual sugar, glucose, and that kind of stuff. Uh, your body can use that and that's the, generally what most people's bodies are using and it can also use fat as a fuel so the ketones that are released from the liver can be used f as a fuel source for your brain and your muscles now um, when you first flip over from eating carbohydrates to low carb and high fat it takes a while for your body to adjust and some people get a thing called keto flu which is a um, like a feeling of being a bit tired and lethargic and it's because the body's changing from its you know you spent all i'm 42 i've spent 41 and and a half years of more than that of eating sugar and my body using sugar as its main fuel source the body doesn't care between the two if anything i feel better eating the being in ketosis i feel my mood's better so once you've your body is using that fat then Let's say I was in ketosis for a couple of weeks and then I started eating a couple of... I'd eat, I'd eat something sugary. Smells chocolatey, eh? Now, eat it. I don't want any. Thank you. Eat it! My body would want to go straight back to eating... to using glucose because it's efficient at burning glucose as fuel. Um, but it stores fat, glucose stores fat. So if now that I've, I've been doing three months of keto, my body is used to using fat, and it means I'm fat adapted. So I wouldn't be doing a fat, I wouldn't recommend anybody to do a five day fast if they're not fat adapted. You can do, it's up to you, there's people out there on the internet doing it. <laughs> but for me, I want to use the fact that I'm using fat already as my main fuel source before I do an extended fast. I've tried a couple of fasts before, and if this, if I'm hungry, I'm going to stop. And if I feel like I'm going to pass out, I'm going to stop. But my body can use its own fat stores. It doesn't care whether it's food I'm putting in that it's using as, as its energy source or my own fat. I'm 20, well, my 22 stone 11 pounds. I'm, I've, there's enough fat in my body for my body to live on without me having to put it in it as well. So number one is I'm in ketosis and I want to use that that maximise that process of the fact that I'm I'm already burning fat as its main fuel source to kind of boost my own fat burning. So I won't be starving because I've got enough for my body to live on because it's using fat. The second reason is um, why I want to do a five day fast and not just a, an intermittent like one day. I've been doing some a couple of 24 hour fasts and I've been doing stuff where I eat one meal a day and things like that a couple of times. But the reason, the second reason is a thing called autophagy. Now, I'm not a scientist, and I'm going to post some videos underneath this post with some links to fasting and, and explanations of certain things. But autophagy basically is about your cells uh, and your cells re uh, regenerating themselves and using it as almost like a... Um, 
uh, like a repair system so they can take all of the damaged cells and it goes back in itself and sort of reproduces them so you've got healthier cells and it's about rebuilding healthy cells now you can get you, that doesn't happen straight away and you need to you need to give your body time in fasting to be able to get into that autophagous state where it can start burning and regenerating its own cells so that's the second reason is that kind of health benefit of my body regenerating itself and also it gives my pancreas time to just calm down from constantly producing insulin um, and you know responding to food um, and it's how we really were designed so that kind of that thing of not eating all the time humans aren't really designed to eat all the time because we would have had feast and famine that's where the that idea of feast and famine comes from so that kind of moves on to my third reason why i want to do a longer fast and that is to kind of find my own hunger so i've spent a long time my adult life i would say all of my adult life i've spent uh, running away from feeling hungry and i don't still don't really i still can't really um, define in myself being hungry because i'm not hungry very often and since i started ketosis I've been in ketosis. I've not been, you know, if I check in with myself, I think, right, if I do a scale between one as I, I'm really not hungry at all and 10 as I am absolutely starving, where do I sit? I find that really difficult to actually decide where I'm at because I don't really know what it's like to be hungry because I eat, you know, I was eating all the time and now my body is using itself. I'm not, I don't get hung, that hunger drive as much. So, I want to find my own hunger and I also want to see that I can go for an extended period of time without eating, without me passing out or without dying and without being ravenous and hangry and all that kind of stuff. The fact that I can cope uh, with being hungry. And, and like I said, it's if you look at animal, the animal kingdom, like a, like a lion will eat a massive you know, eat a zebra, chow down on a zebra with its family and all that stuff, stuff itself and then lie down and lay around until it can kind of like, it just stuffs itself and then it goes for a period of time without eating before, bang, and it, and it goes again. And humans were, up until recently, and our kind of evolutionary kind of thing, that's how we lived. We'd have times when we'd have food and we'd eat and there were times when we didn't eat and, and my your body, is, my body stored fat you know this, you know that your body stores fat for later on because it thinks you might starve. Well, by fasting, my body can use that stored fat. That's what it's been put there for in the first place. So it's it's not that it's not starving. I think if I'd been eating loads of like chocolate and stuff and then just stopped eating it, my body would be craving all of that stuff and I, and I would be miserable. Um, and lastly is my uh, blood levels and my ketone levels. I... I um, I've been overeating a couple of times. I, you know, just late, lately, I find myself snacking and getting into a habit of being in the fridge, so especially sort of transition times. So if I come home from work and I get in for about, I don't know, it must be about six ish, half five, six, uh, that time between getting in and then and getting the kids to bed and then eating our own meal, I'm finding I'm eating a bit of cheese, a bit of, nicking a bit of butter and putting it on stuff and ham or whatever. Now that's a habit and. In my, my in my body it feels like hunger but it's not i'm not hungry yet and then then i'm having my dinner and that's not helping i want to get out of that habit of constantly eating so that that's the other thing so i'm going to be testing my bloods i've tested them today and my uh my blood glucose level was 5.3 that's not faster that's in the afternoon so i've eaten things 5.3 um, and my ketone levels, I think, were 0 0.8. So they've been higher before. They've been up to about 5, 5.0 5 before. When when I first started, they've kind of spiked. So there's not there's not like a golden rule about how much many ketones, but I want to do it almost like an experiment and find out where, how it's affecting it. How does it bring my blood down? I'm assuming it's going to bring my blood levels down because I was kind of on that cusp of being type 2 diabetic my spoke to a GP and he said if I'd have had two readings the same I would have been type 2 um, so I'm kind of trying to keep my blood sugars low and I want to see how it affects my ketones and, and really I want to know how I feel I'm going to be posting daily updates but I want to know how I feel fasting if I feel like I'm going to pass out if I feel like too faint or I'm absolutely ravenous um, if I feel sick 
then and it's beyond something that I think is something that I could handle or then I'm going to stop doing it because all I have to do is eat something but five days I'm not going to be exercising and I was contemplating going to box fit still and trying to exercise but because this is my first extended fast I'm going to just chill it I'm going to do some walking because I want there's also this a side of it with this and this cell repairing that I'm hoping it's going to help my hip a little bit but I'm going to do some walking I might do something light with some weights to keep my my body moving but I'm not going to be going to box fit this week so that's the reason why I'm doing the fast and um, the last time I did a fast, I did the longest I've done so far is three days. And the day after, when I, I'd refed, I did a refeed, and then the day after, the energy was like unbelievable, uh, and my mood was so good. So uh, and it lasted ages. So yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. I'm going to post daily videos to let you know how I'm getting on with it. Uh, I think the biggest thing is going to be boredom because I, it, there is an entertainment factor about eating and preparing and thinking about food all the time. Anyway. Thanks for all your concern <laughs> and I'll speak to you in a bit later and get on. Bye.